four astronauts are headed to the International Space Station for a six-month mission. They launched early this morning in a spectacular pre-dawn liftoff using, for the first time, a recycled SpaceX rocket and capsule. Mark Strassman has the latest from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Yay! The astronauts were met with cheers on their way to the launch pad this morning. They even got a send-off from SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. Endeavor launches once again. The international crew, which includes two Americans, launched on a mission that's the first of its kind. We have just passed through Max Q. Around two and a half minutes after liftoff, already traveling more than 4,000 miles per hour, the reused first stage booster separated. Roughly seven minutes after that, the crew entered orbit more than 125 miles above Earth, where not long ago they had this to say. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Musk said it's the dawn of a new era in space exploration. It's hard to believe that uh, we're here doing this, quite frankly. You know, feels like a dream. You know, it's probably good to have a, a, a flight or two under its belt for the booster to have flown, you know, once or twice. NASA astronaut Bob Behnken can vouch for the recycled hardware. He flew in the same capsule to the space station last year. This time, it's his wife crew member Megan MacArthur. They have a seven-year-old son, Theo. What does your son think about all the unusual travel both his parents do for work? He has had, of course, a long duration exposure to all of this. Of course, he recently saw his father launch and then stay on the International Space Station for two months. Now, you know, it's mom's turn and I'm gonna be gone for six months. And when he talks about it, he talks about, well, he's gonna go next. But first, little Theo and his father will get up early tomorrow morning to watch another magical moment. MacArthur and her crew will dock to the space station right around 5 a.m. Mark Strassman, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center. Now, as for the reusable gear, NASA's acting administrator says it absolutely lowers cost, and that could be huge for future launches from U.S. soil. These electric vehicles are performing just as well as the internal combustion engine models. More and more people are choosing electric vehicles, but are they as safe as they should be? We take a look when Gavin News Live at 4 continues.